Something else I could watch? Uh, rain. I didn't see any. Yeah. I didn't see yeah. any. But a lot of folks did. This it was weekend. out there. We had the scattered showers and storms and we won't see any triple digits out there for a few days, at least as we go through the early part of this week. So we will enjoy that while it lasts. Let's get you on outside right now to a downtown Dallas looking at 82 degrees. We'll see some temperatures in the upper 70s, though, as you get out to Kaufman here at 79, 78, getting out to Greenville along with Quinlan here this morning. We'll have some mid 70s heading over to Weatherford. It's uh, 76, 75, getting out to Bridgeport and even a few places will dip into the low 70s here this morning. You'll really start to notice the difference. I think tomorrow morning still going to be kind of muggy heading out the door today and it again will be uh, seasonably hot as we get into the afternoon. Now an isolated shower storm can't be ruled out in our eastern counties as we go through the day and maybe a little farther south getting down into central Texas, the far southern portion of north Texas late this afternoon and evening, but that's about it as far as the rain is concerned. Temperatures again will stay seasonably hot today and then we'll start to heat up a little bit more later in the week. Now we'll see skies becoming mostly sunny out there today as well. You see the uh, cluster of showers and storms well towards south and it has dissipated now, but there will be some lingering activity along the uh, Gulf Coast here for today and out across some portions of the Panhandle in West Texas here early this morning as well. Seeing those uh, temperatures only in the upper 80s for Oklahoma City today. Low 90s out across the Panhandle will be in the 90s here. Still creeping up closer to 100 as we head down to Austin, San Antonio and a little steamy heading over toward uh, Houston today as well. It's up and at around 98. Now, as we look at the temperatures, though, for the rest of the week, they will start to climb a little bit more. By Thursday, we're going to be back up around 99, and I do think we will see some triple digits as we head into Friday and for the, the, the upcoming holiday weekend. So just to plan accordingly, it is going to stay hot. We're going to talk more about Idalia as well coming up in the next half hour, but we do have to update you on this because this could become a major hurricane. It is forecast to do that a little bit later on. 65 mile per hour winds out there for you right now, and it's going to be taking an aim right along the West Coast of Florida, it looks like as we head into the middle uh, part of the week as a category three hurricane with those winds 115 plus miles per hour. So we'll talk more about Idalia coming up. But yes, that's something that certainly bears watching and we will be talking more about here in the days to come. All right, here's what it looks like. In the 10 day forecast and look at the temperatures kind of going in the wrong direction, though, as those triple digits do make a comeback for us. We're going to be up around 102 to 103, getting into Saturday and Sunday, maybe even a little bit hotter as we get into um, a Labor Day there on Monday.